Title, Titanic Maestro, James Cameron, says it's a nope. To Titan submersible tragedy flick. TLDR. Rumors of a new James Cameron-directed film about the recent Titan submersible tragedy that claimed five lives on a trip to the Titanic wreckage have been circulating. However, Cameron, the legendary director of Titanic, has firmly dismissed these rumors. He assures that he won't be at the helm of such a project, sinking those rumors faster than the Titanic itself. Dive in. Are you not entertained? Might be a question Gladiators Maximus could throw at our rumor mongers. But James Cameron? Not so much. He has declared a resounding no. To the whispers that he would be directing a movie about the tragic Titan submersible incident. Despite Cameron's celebrated history of submersibles and underwater exploration, he won't be swapping his aqua socks for the director's chair anytime soon. What does it say when even the director of the abyss says it's too deep a dive? The Titan submersible event was a devastating tragedy that resulted in the loss of five lives during a voyage to the site of the Titanic wreckage. As it stands, Cameron has publicly denounced any intentions to capitalize on the tragedy for a silver screen adaptation. I mean, wouldn't it be a bit off to make a movie about a tragic real-life event, by a director famed for making a movie about a tragic real-life event? Yet, here we are, smack in the middle of a rumor whirlpool. Someone stoked. The gossip flames, prompting Cameron to bring out the extinguisher and snuff out these unfounded speculations. Just imagine the look on the rumor starter's face now. Remember, this is James Cameron we're talking about. The man who gave us Titanic, a film that not only won a ton of Oscars, but also made us sob uncontrollably when Jack let go, really rose. There was plenty of room on that raft. He also delved deep with the abyss and avatar, but now it seems he's saying not this time. Although it makes sense not to exploit real-life tragedies for commercial gain, it's also important to recognize that some of the most compelling and thought-provoking stories are born out of adversity and tragedy. However, does this justify transforming a recent disaster into a cinematic spectacle, especially when families and friends of the victims are still mourning? Maybe it's a good thing that Cameron is shying away from this project. After all, it's been less than a decade since he declared, I'm king of the world. Do we really need a repeat? but this time with a decidedly gloomier narrative. Legal Disclaimer This article does not recommend or advocate for any investments, actions, or decision-making. It is purely informational and meant for entertainment purposes only. So, peeps, as we conclude this unusual cinematic journey, it's time to ask, if not Cameron, who would be an appropriate director to take on such a heavy subject? Or perhaps more pertinently, should this tragedy even be turned into a film at all?